In today's video, we're going to be learning how to use font awesome icons inside of Cordo documents. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making videos. Without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go to the terminal tab. In the terminal, I'm going to be able to see where my current working directory is. Right now it's in my documents folder, but I want to create a Cordo document inside of a different folder. So I'm going to switch directories and to do that, I'm going to use CD which stands for change directory. And inside of my documents folder, there's a folder called YouTube. So I'll start by going into that folder and then I'm going to change directory again and go one level deeper. And into that folder, I've got a folder that's called font awesome. Hit enter. And this is the location where I'm going to create this Cordo project. Now that I'm inside the folder where I want to create the project, I'm going to type Cordo create dash project. And then I'll type the name of the project that I want to create. So I'm going to call this font awesome underscore tutorial. And then I'm going to change my directory one more time to go inside of that folder that I just created. So CD font awesome underscore tutorial. I'm also going to open up the Cordo document that just got created and I'm going to render it to see what it looks like so far. I'm going to add some YAML to specify that I want the format to be HTML when I render it. And this is what the document looks like so far. Nothing too exciting going on, just a plain Cordo HTML document. To include font awesome icons in this document, I need to go back to the terminal and then install the Cordo extension for font awesome. So making sure that I'm in the project directory where I want to use these font awesome icons, I'm going to type Cordo install extension. And then the name of the extension, which in this case is cordo x slash font awesome. Hit enter. I'm going to be asked whether I trust the authors of the extension before it gets installed. I'll type Y for yes and hit enter. And then again, type Y, hit enter. And if I go back to the folder where I created this project, there is now a folder called underscore extensions. And if I go inside of that, I can see the font awesome extension is now there. The reason why I'm mentioning this is because you will need to reinstall the Font Awesome Cordo extension anytime you create a new Cordo project. Because right now, this underscore extensions folder, which is necessary in order for me to be able to use the Font Awesome icons, is located inside of this folder that got created when I made this Cordo project. So if I were to go to a Cordo project that's in a different folder, this underscore extensions folder would not be there. So the simplest way to use the font awesome icons is to install the extension when you create the new project. From here, including the icons is really straightforward. All we need to do is use two curly braces, a less than and greater than symbol. And then in between that, we type FA and then the name of the font awesome icon that we'd like to include in our document. So for example, if I want to include the envelope, this is the syntax that I would use. If I re-render this, I now have a very basic font awesome icon. If you want to see a list of all the icons that you can use, you can go to fontawesome.com and filter to the icons that are free. I'll include the link in the description and I've also included it in this Cordo document, which I'll post on my GitHub. Here you can search for any icon that you can think of. And if I search for envelope, we'll be able to see the one that I've already added to the document. If I click on brands, there's a few hundred icons of popular brands like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so on. Let's say I want to include the Facebook icon in a Cordo document. The name of the icon is Facebook, but because it's a brand icon, there's actually one extra step. To include brand icons in your Cordo documents, you need to add the word brand before the name of the icon. If I copy and paste the syntax from before and replace the word envelope with Facebook, if I just render it like this, nothing will show up, or at least nothing useful will show up. But if I put the word brand in front of Facebook, sorry, it should be brands with an S. If I re-render that, the Facebook icon is now included in my document. Now let's talk about styling font awesome icons. These two icons look pretty basic. They're both black and they're both the same size. If I want to change the size of the icon, I can look at the documentation for the Cordo font awesome extension. 
which you can find at github.com slash cardo dash x slash font awesome. And there's some instructions here on how to change the sizing of these icons. It's fairly easy. All you need to do is add the size keyword after the name of the icon and then specify the size that you would like. And there's some tables here that show the different size options that you can choose. Let's give that a try with our Facebook icon. It is the size keyword. And then I specify the size that I want it to be. Let's set it to 5X. Now the icon is much bigger. Let's say I wanna change the color of that icon. Well, if I go back to the documentation for this extension, there's nothing that's immediately jumping out at me that explains how to change the color of these icons. But if I go to the documentation for Font Awesome directly, by going to fontawesome.com and then clicking docs, if I scroll down on the docs page, there's a section here about how to style icons. If I click on basics, this page tells me that font awesome icons automatically inherit CSS size and color. Now what that means is if I want to change the color of the font awesome icon in my Cordo document, I can use some HTML wrapped around the icon itself in order to change the color. Going back to our studio, let's say I want to change the Facebook icon to be red because that's totally not chaotic. I can wrap the icon in a span where I specify the style to be the color that I want for the icon. Here I'm specifying that I want this icon to have the color property be red, and then I need to end the span like so. And if I re-render the document, the icon is now red. It's important to mention that the reason why this works is because with Cordo, you can insert HTML directly into your document and it'll be executed as HTML. So what this also means is that I can follow any of the examples on the Font Awesome documentation and insert those examples directly into my Cordo document. For example, I can copy and paste this into my Cordo document, re-render it, and now I've got an example that's directly from the Font Awesome documentation, and it's even using a different syntax than what we saw before. Remember before we were using these curly braces and the less than and greater than symbol? which is quite convenient if you're just looking to use the default styling options. It's a lot quicker to type something that looks this short, but if you wanna get fancier with your Font Awesome icons and you already know the Font Awesome syntax, then you can apply what you already know and just paste the HTML directly into your Cordo document. Here comes the really cool part. If I go back to the documentation for styling on Font Awesome, there's some neat features like for example, animation. If I click on animate, there's an example here in the documentation that I can just directly copy and paste into my Cordo document. I can re-render, and now my document has these animated icons. There's a lot of cool other features that Font Awesome offers, so I encourage you to check out the documentation, but today we've seen some of the more common usages that you might come across. In today's video, we learned how to include font awesome icons in your Cordo documents using both the Cordo extension syntax and the classic font awesome syntax. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making videos.